Okay, here is the consent form. All you have to do is fill it out, sign it, and give it back at the desk. Okay, what am I consenting to? To uh, a lumpectomy and a possible mastectomy. But I'm only having a lumpectomy, right? Most likely, yeah. It's just as if while they're operating, and uh, they might... Well, if they find out that the lump is extended, then... I don't want my entire breast cut off. Emily, the chances of that are so slim. Like I said, they've caught it early, and I can... I can almost promise you, it's just going to be a lot back to me. Uh-oh. Listen, just go ahead and sign that and return it, and I'll come back and uh, wait with you until surgery, okay? All right. See you later. Drug we have any fun. Emily came to see me, and everything was great. And then all of a sudden, her mood changed. She got up and she bolted. She didn't say why? But one minute, we were really close, and everything was fine. And the next minute, she's jumping up and leaving. No explanation, but nothing. Dial her down, man. I gotta write down for the living. You don't deal here. Not to be serious. Sanders, stop! 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 Xander, what are you doing? Let go of him! I'm the dealer. He's probably dealing with those kids in there. I'm not letting him go. Hey, Mr. Smith, break it up! I said break it up! Assault and battery's against the law. I'm not the one committing a crime here. Your name is? Look, it was just a misunderstanding. Listen, I'm late for an appointment, so if it's okay, get out of here. You know what? This little street fighter routine of yours is getting old. You pull us off again, I'm going to take you in. For your information, that guy happened to be a dealer. I know who he is, all right? But this guy doesn't have a badge. Yeah, but he can still perform a community service. It's not his job to go around stomping on anyone he thinks is breaking the law. It's official. My brother's a pig-headed idiot. <laughs> what are you laughing at? He practically had you arrested for stopping a drug deal. Well, wow, until you're talking down. Yeah, he didn't listen to a word I said. Well, maybe not. <laughs> but it's fun watching you get his face, especially when you're defending me. Mind if I sit? No, please do. Before my arbitrary, unreasonable brother sits down. <laughs> You're having a disagreement? Uh, let's just say I don't like to be talked down to when I'm right and he's totally wrong. <laughs> What's he wrong about? Sander just took a socially responsible stand and did a very good deed by stopping some dealer from selling to kids outside. Mm -hmm. Marcus charged in and attacked Xander and let the bad guy walk. <laughs> Thanks. For what? Good to see someone besides me get fired up on Xander's behalf. First met Xander, I couldn't stand him. <laughs> you and virtually all my family and friends. Mm, this may sound kind of strange, but the thing that touches me the most about him is the way he talks about you. He loves you so completely, with all his heart, and it's forever. I'm incredibly lucky. I just came from Emily's room. She's not there. Uh, I, I know. I'm wondering if she hasn't left the hospital. Hey, Dr. Quarterman. 
When was the last time you saw Emily? She's not in the hospital. Does she know any of your friends that deal in drugs? Is it possible she went out to try to score? If Emily has left, it's because she's terrified of the treatment that she's facing. 